Mr. Mentor's lighthouse, Bob's boat in the harbour, and Miss Smiley's cafe. We've always loved staying at the mill on the marsh with our Auntie Jules and Uncle CJ because we get to ride in Campo. We get to sail up the river in Queenie, Uncle CJ's boat, all the way to Sunny Sands. But most of all, because we get to play the Ragnarok. because I've got to get back here to prepare for the egg hunt later. Did I hear someone say egg hunt? Yes, Grandpa. The children are coming back here for an egg hunt and a bit of a party in the meadow later. Wonderful. I wish I could come to the make and do day with you. But you can't, Grandpa, because you are helping me with sandwiches. Right, come on, otherwise we're going to be late. You've got your work cut out, Jemima, because Belinda Lucinda's going to be there. Oh, no. Belinda Lucinda spoils everything. Belinda Lucinda? Poor Jemima, if Belinda Lucinda's going to be there, she's going to need my help. Not the shrinking cat, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! When Grandpa shrinks, he can run really fast. Like this, and this, and this. He can get into things. He can get under things. But most amazing of all is that his magic can make things go. <laughs> like my helicopter. And our cousin Jason's play. Sometimes he chuffs about in the Sunny Sands train. And he can even make my Mrs. Ostrich fly. Oh yes, Grandpa can get anywhere he likes. But today he was coming with us in Joshy's pocket. Hurry up, you two! Ah, Grandpa gone for a little lie down, eh? To get out of making the sandwiches, I guess. Come on! I picked up my pencil tin and ran. So off we all went in Campo to Miss Smiley's cafe, and Jemima said, "I hope Belinda Lucinda doesn't spoil everything." And Uncle CJ said. Oh, I'm sure she would, Jemima. But Uncle CJ was wrong. At Miss Smiley's cafe, before long, everyone had settled down to make their springtime things. But Belinda Lucinda was not happy. She was doing this. Mine! Grandpa was watching and he didn't like what he saw. My friend Connor and I were making egg cosy chicks. I'll help. Ah, little Connor needs help with the glue. Don't be nasty, Belinda Lucinda. Some of the others were making bonnets in hats. Those are rubbish. No, they're not. Mine's the best. I was with Rosie and Emily, and we were making little puppet bunnies. They're magic bunnies to go inside the chocolate eggs. I love the idea of magic bunnies. <laughs> Who ever heard of a magic bunny? Stupid. Don't be mean, Belinda Lucinda. Concentrate on your lovely bonnet. But Belinda Lucinda grabbed some feathers and Connor said, Hey, I was going to use them. Hard luck, I got there first. You need to share, Belinda Lucinda. Grandpa couldn't just stand by and watch for a moment longer. So he jumped off the shelf, ran across the floor, climbed up the table leg, and hid behind my pencil tin. Belinda Lucinda was drawing a picture of a chick to stick on her bonnet. I need crayons. She had her eye on my tin. Grandpa got away just before she grabbed it. 
Then to Lucinda, you should learn to ask nicely. Whatever. Right. Time for action. And Grandpa jumped back onto the table. Just then, Miss Smiley came in with the chocolate eggs. All right, everyone. Here are the eggs, and we're going to put the little magic bunnies you've all made inside them. Huh. Magic bunnies. Everyone was getting really fed up with Belinda Lucinda, but then Mr Whoops came in with a basket of bits. A went. Mr Whoops! Everyone went to help Mr Whoops. Except Belinda Lucinda, of course. She went to see if she could use any of his bits and bobs. Grandpa ran across the table to the crayon tin. And everyone was so busy, they didn't see him push it back to my place. Quick, Grandpa, hide! Just then, Belinda and Lucinda came back to the table. Who moved the pencil tin? Not me, I was helping Mr Woods. Well, somebody did. It can just move on its own. Then she grabbed it. Don't grab it, Belinda and Lucinda. But I'm using it. And she took it. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Did. Didn't. Didn't. You were the only one here. You must have done. Come in here with me and calm down. Come on. Jemima took Belinda Lucinda to the storeroom to calm her down. All right. We can all start putting our little magic bunnies into our eggs now. <laughs> magic bunnies are just stupid. We'll see about that. While well, everyone else went to the counter, I had a word with Grandpa. What's the plan, Grandpa? Who says bunnies can't be magic, eh? I'm going to need your help. Pass me your bunny. I'm getting in the bunny, and I'm going in an egg. And Grandpa crawled into the little bunny. Everyone had put a bunny into the half egg. Miss Smiley put the other half on top, and Mr Whoops wrapped it up. Here's one for Belinda's egg. Luckily, Miss Smiley didn't notice Grandpa's feet. Mr Whoops wrapped the egg in yellow paper and just then, Belinda Lucinda came back. Oh, we've put your rabbit in an egg for you, dear. It's the yellow one, just so you know when it comes to the egg hunt. I don't care about magic bunnies or egg hunts or girls who move pencil tins. I hate Miss Smiley's make and do day. <laughs> Keep looking, there's plenty to find. Well done, Dad, you've done a great job. Did Grandpa help? No, Grandpa's been having the longest lie down ever. I haven't seen him all day, Jemima. At that moment, we heard... Found it! Found my egg, I'm first! And Belinda Lucinda skipped off into the courtyard. She's in for a big surprise. <laughs> Josh was right. Belinda Lucinda sat all by herself, eating her egg. Then she said, huh, Who needs a magic bunny? I just want to eat all the chocolate. Oh, you do, do you? Yep. Who said that? Hello? Hello? Belinda Lucinda couldn't believe her eyes. What? Was this a magic bunny after all? Yes, it's me. But... The magic bunny. But magic bunnies are rubbish. Oh, we're not rubbish. So tell me, you having a nice time? No. No, I'm having a horrid time. Well, you know what? People who don't share properly or be nice to everyone else always end up having a horrid time. So if I were you, I'd say sorry to everyone and be nice for the rest of the day. OK, I'll try. I really will. Good. And the first thing you do is to give me to Elsie and say sorry for accusing her of moving the tin. Which she didn't. I did. Oh. Uh, right. I will. So, Belinda Lucinda gave Grandpa, in a bunny, in an egg, to Elsie. You can have my bunny and the chocolate. I'm really sorry I was horrid. I know you didn't move the tin. Thanks. And Elsie ran inside with Grandpa as fast as she could. And Belinda and Lucinda was nice to everyone. At last. Cut off, Grandpa. 
Quick! We did it. We taught Belinda Lucinda a lesson. Well, you did it, Grandpa. I couldn't have done it without your help. Teamwork, I call it. Teamwork! <laughs> oh, Grandpa, you're up. You missed the egg hunt. Everybody's gone home except for Belinda Lucinda. She's waiting for her mum. Did you have a lovely day? I did in the end, because the magic bunny taught me how to. Oh? How's that? You have to be kind to people and learn how to share. I gave my bunny to Elsie. I know. You can have this, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> We need a clue. OK. What does Nana Ha Ha like doing most? Ah, easy. Arty things. So, you want to do arty things, yes? Uh-uh. <laughs> the other thing she loves best. Um... Laughing! <laughs> she loves laughing. OK. So you want us to laugh. I get it. Hey, Chris. Do you remember when Nana wanted everyone to laugh? And do arty things. Oh, yes. Oh, listen to this. It's really funny. Well, it was a lovely sunny day at Nana's arty den. And Nana was skipping around, looking at all her funny paintings and sculptures. <laughs> Nana's art always makes her laugh. And, being Nana, she wanted everyone else to laugh at art, too. So Nana had written party invitations to everyone to come to her arty day. They all had to bring a funny picture that would make you laugh. <laughs> this was the day of Nana's arty party. So off she went to hand out her party invitations. <laughs> and soon she arrived at the Ha Ha Harry's house. Everyone was so pleased. <laughs> she gave one invitation to Pa, one to Ma, and one to Minnie. <laughs> <gasps> they love to come to her party. <laughs> Nana hurried off. She had one more delivery to make. Up on the hill at Chateau Shampoo, someone was painting. Can you guess who? Boris Boohoo, what's he going to do? Who? Yep, Boris had decided that he was an artist too. But he wasn't laughing at his picture. Oh no! Boris was taking his painting very seriously. We were watching from the hairy cactus tree. And what do you suppose his picture was of? Himself, of course! Just then, Nana arrived. <laughs> Hi! She took one look at Boris's picture and did this. <laughs> 
I don't think he thinks it's funny. Nope. This isn't going to end well. Oh, there he goes. Boris didn't like <laughs> Nana laughing at his painting. Not one hairy bit. Oh, there he goes. But Nana wasn't trying to be mean. She just thought it was the funniest painting she'd ever seen. She laughed so much, she began to rise. Up. Up, up she went. And we panicked because we thought she'd see us. Watch out, she's coming. But luckily, down she went again and landed with a bump. Then she gave Boris and Boise an invitation to her arty party. She told Boris to bring his funny picture. Everyone was bringing a funny picture. <laughs> Boise really wanted to go to Nana's arty party and have some fun. Boise said that no way would he go. His picture was not funny. He told Boise that if he wanted to paint a funny picture and go to the party, then fine. So off went Boise to find Minnie. And we decided to follow Nana to the arty den. Just finished making a huge hairy berry cake for the arty party. We popped up in the window box to see what was going on. <gasps> Yum! It was nearly time for everyone to arrive. Nana had made a big sculpture. It was covered in a sheet. She couldn't wait to show it to the Ha Ha Hairies. It was sure to make them laugh. She decided to take a little Nana nap before the others turned up. And we decided to take a look at some of her funny pictures <laughs> while she was napping. Meanwhile, back at Chateau Shampoo, Boris was feeling much better. He didn't need to go to a naughty party. But he did wonder what might be going on at Nana's arty den. So he picked up his hairy starey to have a look. Boris suddenly saw the hairy berry cake. And he was very excited. Boris didn't want to go and laugh He didn't want to have fun at a party. But he did so want some hairy berry cake. What he needed was a plan. Boris needs a plan, a plan. He needs a plan as quick as he can. He needs a plan, he needs it quick. He needs a plan, a clever trick. What'll it be? What will it be? And his plan was to take his picture to the party and let everyone laugh at it. At least he'd get cake. Nana was still napping when Boris arrived. I've got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, so bad I can hardly bear to watch. Nobody else was there yet. Maybe he could just grab the cake and go. Boris was just about to reach the cake when... <gasps> Boris quickly hid. Nana was late. There were things to do. She picked up the cake and took it outside. What was Boris going to do now? He couldn't get the cake and he was stuck behind the sculpture. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah. Oh, yes. Now it was time for Nana to move her sculpture outside. But then she saw Boris. Oh. <laughs> Nana thought it was <laughs> hilarious. Oh, good old Boris. Yes, good old Boris had come to the arty party after all. Boris picked up his picture. Nana was so pleased he'd brought his funny picture. And that he found it funny too. Except, of course, he didn't. Time for us to go outside, I think. Yep, that's where the fun will be. <laughs> <laughs> Boris had helped Nana take her sculpture outside. The Ha Ha Hairies were about to arrive, so Nana told Boris to hide. <laughs> 
and everyone turned up with their pictures. <laughs> Ma and Pa had done a funny picture of the fluffer puffer poo. <laughs> Minnie had done a funny picture of a heavy hoglet. And Boise had done a funny picture of Chateau Shampoo. <laughs> <laughs> to show them her hilarious sculpture. It was a giant hairy cucumber. Everyone thought it was hilarious. But Nana shushed them. She had another surprise. What could it be? What was it? It was this. <laughs> the ha ha fairies laughed so much. Good old Bartos. Nana wanted to show everyone Boris's picture, but Boris was only really interested in the cave. He couldn't bear it any longer. He went to grab the picture of Nana and accidentally sat in the cave. The <laughs> oh. <laughs> The Ha Ha Harrys thought Boris had sat in the cage just to make them laugh. He was such a good sport. This was the best arty party Harryland had ever seen. So they decided to celebrate in the way that only the Ha Ha Harrys know how. Get up high and you shake it to the ground And you shake it to the side and you shake it, shake it around Then you shake it, shake your fingers and you shake it, shake your feet And you do the heavy shake, do the heavy shake Do the heavy shake with me Do the heavy shake with me Do the heavy shake with me So Boris didn't get any cake, but he made everyone laugh. <laughs> yep. And that's what you want to do today then. Laugh. Yep. I'm going to make you laugh. Uh-huh. So how are you going to make me laugh then, Wiggy? Easy. I'm going to tickle you. <laughs> but I'm not ticklish. But you are. But I'm not. Let's see, shall we? <laughs> Come on. 